I started reading self-development books when I was around 17 and within a short period, I developed a great interest in business books. This wasn't a miracle since I've always loved to do business. In fact, by age 18, I started and got involved with about 5 businesses so I loved entrepreneurship. By the time I was 19, I had become a crazy reader. I would read every book I see with my eyes. I would go to any length to borrow books and if I had been tempted to steal books, I might have done it. That was how crazy I was about reading, most especially about entrepreneurship. By the time I was 21, I was already the most courageous 21-year-old, probably in my entire country. There's nothing you want to tell me to discourage me from starting a business. You may remind me that I had no degree or even remind me that I was a boy whose parents can't even afford to give him $300 to start a business but I wouldn't listen to you because I believed that I had studied and understood how businesses are made successful. Just imagine a man who had a big secret in his possession. That was me. But think about this. How did I get that courage? Simple, through education. You see, Warren Buffett said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. In other words, when people say that something like business or investing is risky, what they're simply saying is that they are ignorant about such things. If you're between the ages of 15 and 40, this channel was specifically created for you. So, don't forget to subscribe. Think about this. I never swam in my entire life and I don't know how people swim. Without a doubt, swimming for me is risky, right? But what if I can pick up a few books about the psychology or strategies of swimming? Yes, that will not make me the best swimmer in the world but you can agree with me that my confidence in swimming will increase. What if I go to a little river in my village to go and practice what I read in the swimming book? Yes, that still won't make me a great swimmer but you'll agree with me that my confidence will once again boosted. What if I register for a swimming class and attend every Saturday for the next three months? Now, you see what I'm talking about? From being a coward who's afraid of swimming, I gradually became a confident swimmer. From thinking that swimming is very risky, I now see swimming as one of those things just like walking. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Essentially, when people think that business or investing is risky, it's almost always because they don't have education about such topics. I know this is the case because I meet people like that all the time. For example, I have friends who never read a single book about entrepreneurship or investing and these same people complain that business is tough and difficult. That's just like me saying that swimming is difficult. Why wouldn't it be? Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Understand mastery. I once watched a video of a South African man who loves to play with a lion. At first, you think that there is some magic to it but when you see him going into a wilderness to go and play with a lion, you start wondering how he got such power. Well, the power is in the mastery. This man had spent hundreds of hours studying the nature and psychology of the lion. He had read books and carried out researches about the lion. He knows what the lion is and what gets them angry and that's the reason why he could play and sleep around them. It's called mastery and it's the reason why certain people are not afraid of certain things. What do you think is risky? Do you think starting a business is risky? Do you think investing is risky? Do you think pursuing your dream is risky? Well, it's because you don't seek mastery. If you desire to attain mastery in anything, the more you move towards mastery, the less risky the journey becomes. Do you think entrepreneurship is risky? Stop thinking. Go to the bookstore and buy 10 books about entrepreneurship. Start reading and after reading for some time, start a small business. Don't aim at a profit just yet. Instead, aim at mastery. Your mistakes and failure at this time don't matter. Just keep on learning and trying. The more you learn, the more actions you take. The less risky entrepreneurship appears to be and the more confidence you can have. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Finally, think about risk the way you think about darkness. Darkness doesn't exist on its own. Instead, darkness is the absence of light. Risk doesn't exist. Instead, it's the absence of knowledge. If you think something is risky, it's because you're ignorant about such a thing. Learn 
Learn, learn and act. The more you know, the more confident you become and the less risky the journey becomes. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends. We love you.